Hi, I'm Jonathan Dio of Dio Wealth Management in Berkeley, California. And today we're going to talk about that savings goal, that fine line between putting money into your 401k and your near-term investments. So I love this question, and the reason I love this question, it goes directly to the most important part of your financial life, your plan. It depends completely upon your current situation and your financial um, place in your life. So what I want to do is I want to start with a framework and give you a couple examples that might help you understand the best way to deal with this. If you're in your mid-20s, you probably don't even realize this yet. But the most important thing that we are going to save for in our lifetimes will be that retirement income that we can't outlive. So the importance of your 401k cannot be overstated. When big financial companies do research on those things that we fear most, the thing that tops the list is running out of money before we run out of life. And this makes sense because at that point in our lives, there are no other options. And given the epidemic of long life expectancy, the thing that we should do is save more than we expect to have to save. There's a, a statistic out there that suggests that 20 times our income is about the right amount to save. So I certainly recommend using your company's 401k plan and at least maximizing that to the point of receiving the match that your company offers. And then over time, if you can, move your contribution up from the 5 or 10% that you might get in a match to 15%. This will serve you well in the long term. At the same time, one of the biggest risks we have is to lose our income without uh, a safety net on the side, without that emergency cash fund on the side. So we need to also build up at least three to six months of our monthly expenses uh, in, a, in an account on the side. I recommend this stays in cash. This isn't invested. So before you invest anything that's taxable, you want to have three to six months in cash on the side. And as a side note, it might make sense to invest up to 12 or 18 months in cash on the side. That will give you the ability to be a little bit more aggressive with your retirement portfolios because you have that cash um, as a safety net if something goes wrong with the portfolio. After you're in the place where you're consistently funding your retirement program and you have that three to six months or perhaps even more uh, cash on the sidelines for your emergency fund, then you can start looking at filling out other areas of your plan. Things like funding uh, education expenses, uh, funding uh, re repainting the house or, or, or putting more money away to maybe take care of an aging parent or these kinds of things. Now, if you're under 30, it's really, really easy to postpone, take care of it tomorrow, your retirement savings. And instead, focus on lifestyle expenses, new car, nice apartment, nice clothes. And I don't recommend this. These things are not um, a problem in and of themselves as long as you're paying yourself first, as long as you are building your retirement program, and as long as you have that emergency fund on the side, just in case. If you're in your 50s or approaching retirement, you may be in the best position because of your earnings to really maximize that 401k savings, which means in 2012 putting in $16,500 into that 401k and hopefully getting a company match on top of that. At the same time, you'll probably want to save additional um, liquid cash on the side because you'll have other concerns. Your kids will be going to college and maybe one of those parents would be aging and need some support. So when you're 50, it's a different situation than when you're 30 and your plan should reflect this. It's always a surprise to people that when they do a comprehensive financial plan, the volume that they need to save to get all the things they want in life done. So barring you know, not having done a financial plan comprehensively, all I can say is save more. And if by chance you happen to save too much and at the end of your life there's extra, your family will thank you for it. I'm Jonathan Dio, Dio Wealth Management, Berkeley, California. Thanks for listening.